Hi, I'm Slathia Shunmugam. I'm Director of Program Management at FAIR. And at FAIR, I work on clinical research and advancing new technologies in food allergy. So food allergies have affected my life personally um, in that I've had them since I was very young. Uh, as a child, I had a nut allergy. And growing up in a family that didn't quite understand food allergies yet, we didn't really have experience with it. So it's very much um, a learning experience for my parents as I grew up. Um, when I was 10 years old, I uh, first had my first reaction with peanut allergy. Um, and as an adult, um, I've learned to be very careful with cross-contamination, um, for example. My husband and I at home are very careful not to bring in any of my allergens into the house, and so we essentially have an allergy-free home. So living with food allergies makes me a little bit nervous, just on a very um, constant basis. Uh, being around uh, nuts, for example, um, I know myself that I won't eat them, but I also have an allergy to peanut dust, and so that means I need to be cautious um, and know what's in my surroundings uh, almost all the time. Traveling on a plane can be tricky as well. Um, Southwest, for example, uh, served, used to serve peanuts, and in those days, um, you had to be very careful with either notifying you know, the flight attendants and the staff, uh, and also wearing a mask on the plane to be uh, extra careful. I wish the world knew about food allergies that it's a constant, everyday struggle. It's something that it doesn't go away, unfortunately. Um, and that there aren't many options or treatments for those with food allergy today. Food allergy research is very much underfunded and we're behind in that field of study to find new biomarkers, to get new information on what causes a food allergy? How can we fix it? How can we treat it? Um, how severe is your food allergy? All of these things would be amazing to know and we need, we need funding and research to be able to find those answers.